SolidWorks and integrated engineering software have made it easier for you to use both programs at the same time, linking through their separate APIs. This video will illustrate how to create powerful SolidWorks macros that invoke the integrated API. This will be clearly demonstrated using a macro build using SolidWorks record edit play features. We will create a basic geometry in both programs using the integrated API and the SolidWorks API. Physical properties will then be added within the integrated program and the problem solved. The results of the solution will then be shown in the SolidWorks window illustrating true integration between the programs. With SolidWorks, it's possible to record, edit, and run macros. The macro that will be demonstrated in this video was recorded to produce a block with a hole in it. A form was then made with input boxes for the block and hole parameters and with a screen capture of the geometry for reference. You may have noticed that the editor being used is the same Visual Basic editor used by Microsoft Excel in our other API videos. When the Build and Solve button is clicked, the macro will invoke the code shown here. This code is a modification of the originally recorded code but edited to include some variables. The code will read the geometry parameters out of the form and will use them to create the model in SOLIDWORKS using the SOLIDWORKS API. It will then generate the same model in an integrated 3D program using the integrated API. The macro will then assign material and voltages in the integrated 3D program and solve the model. Note that unless the integrated program is Coulomb or Lorentz 3D, it will not be able to assign the voltage or solve. The macro will then locate the center of the hole and ask for the electric field at the center, then using the SOLIDWORKS API will record that as a text note on the SOLIDWORKS screen. When we run the macro, we see the user form that was shown in Visual Basic open up. When we click on the Build and Solve button, we see the model construct in both programs and after solving in Coulomb, it records the electric field at the center as a text note on the screen. If we modify the Coulomb view properties, we can display the geometry to look much more similar in the two programs. So with the user form for the macro, we are able to edit the values, specify the positions and sizes, and so on. Every time we do so, we will see the model recreated in both programs and we will see a text note appear in SOLIDWORKS. This video illustrated using a sophisticated API to build identical models in distinct software to ensure there would be no geometry discrepancies in different aspects of the design. How simple it is to use once you're familiar with the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications Editor. The true integration between SOLIDWORKS and Integrated. This is clearly illustrated by displaying the final electromagnetic solution values in the SOLIDWORKS window.